Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning chapter 1, rational numbers. In the first chapter, we'll be learning about integers. Okay, firstly, in this part, we'll be learning about positive and negative numbers. In our daily lives, we often encounter situations involving two opposite changes like moving towards the right or moving towards the left or even going up and going down. We always work with values that are more or less than zero and adjusting to an increase or decrease of a value. These situations can be represented using positive and negative numbers. For instance, this is an elevator at the ground floor. The level above the ground floor would be the first floor. And the level above it would be the second floor. Meanwhile, the lower one is the lower ground floor. When this elevator is going up two floors, we can write it as plus two or two because it is going up. This is when we use the positive numbers. However, if the elevator is going down, we will write it as negative 1. This is how we present positive and negative numbers. Positive numbers will be written when we move up, while negative numbers will be written if we move down. Another example in our daily lives is temperature. For example, the temperature in the Sahara Desert is 45 degrees Celsius. Or we can write it as 45 or plus 45. However, the temperature of an iceberg in the Arctic Ocean is 10 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we can write it down as negative 10. Okay, you see the difference? Just like I said, when we move up, we will write it as positive. But when we move down, we will write it as negative. It's the same as temperature. When the temperature rises up, it's going to be hot. Which is why the Sahara is 45 degrees Celsius or plus 45. But when the temperature goes down, it becomes cold. But sometimes it becomes too cold when it goes below 0 degrees Celsius. That's when we write it as negative 10. Let's see an example. The red car is car A, while the blue car is car B. Car A moves 40 meter towards the right, while car B moves 50 meter towards the left. Represent the movements of car A and car B using a positive number or a negative number. Okay, from this example, we can assume that moving to the right is represented with a positive number, while moving to the left is represented by a negative number. Thus, the movement of the car A 40 meter towards the right is represented as 40 or plus 40 and the movement of car B which is move 50 meters towards the left is represented as negative 50. 
Another example can be seen from this picture. We can see a situation whereby there is a hot air balloon up in the sky while there is a diver deep down in the sea. In this situation, try and represent two opposite changes using a positive number and a negative number. From this, we can assume that moving upwards is represented with a positive number while moving downwards is represented with a negative number. Therefore, the movement of the hot air balloon is 1000 meter upwards. Therefore, the hot air balloon can be represented with plus 1000 or 1000. While the diver, we can represent it with negative 250. Okay, as a conclusion, we can conclude that upwards movement and movements to the right will be represented with positive numbers while downward while downwards movement and movement to the left will be represented with negative numbers so if you want us to create more videos like this then like and share this video with your friends uh like us on facebook follow us on instagram and twitter and for thousands more videos like this go to this link down here and finally subscribe to us by clicking on my face